The Owen James Report is brought to you by... Good evening, this is the Owen James Report. Justin Nam's one-year-old investment venture capital firm Exponential Holdings initial public offering may have been closed without the minimum subscription, but Nam has not lost the entrepreneurial spirit and is grateful to those who bought into his idea. I spoke with him earlier today. Didn't lose any money for anybody, so I'm, I'm still confident in, in my ability and my team's ability. And um, we just have to, to move forward and overcome any setback that comes my way. Now, uh, are you, do you plan to go back to the drawing board in terms of this, um, this quest you're, you're after to, to form a sort of venture capital company for the, um, the, the, the small and medium businesses? Um, we're still considering different options and um, I guess they'll be revealed in due time. Exponential Holdings, which was seeking to raise a minimum of $300 million, will be refunding all monies invested by investor in the IPO since it opened on November 25. This prospectus didn't have an extension clause. The venture capital-oriented firm aimed to assist startups and those with feasible entrepreneurial ideas. Losses by the big two banking groups, NCB and Scotia, helped to trigger small declines in the stock market indices today. The main JC index slipped 49 points or 900ths of 1%. 20 stocks traded with 6 advancing, 7 declining and 7 holding firm. Winners included Caribbean Cement, Carreras, JMMB and Sajikor Life Jamaica. The losers included Grace Kennedy, Jamaica Broilers, Jamaica Stock Exchange, NCB and Scotia Group. The Minister of Finance and Planning has appointed a Deputy Governor of the Bank of Jamaica to the position of Senior Deputy Governor with effect from December 13. He is John Robinson, currently Deputy Governor for the BOJ's Research and Economic Programming Division and Financial Stability. He has been with the Central Bank for 29 years. In his new role, the Central Bank says Robinson will participate with the governor in the strategic and operational direction of the bank while ensuring the maintenance of the bank's focus on monetary policy and formulation and implementation. And now for the foreign exchange results. And the U.S. dollar has closed against the Jamaican dollar at a new record high average selling rate. Now here are the actual numbers. Amid seasonally high demand for hard currency, the benchmark American dollar jumped to a new record high average selling rate of $106.07 Jamaican. The greenback gained eight cents Jamaican today. Now the Canadian dollar jumped by a dollar and five cents. Jamaican to close at an average selling rate of $100.62, whilst the sterling declined by 25 cents Jamaican to close at $174.15. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by...